Hello everyone. Today we are going to find the member forces in this truss using method of joints. In this truss, in the point A, there is a hinged support. In this support, there will be two reactions, vertical and horizontal reactions. In the point E, there is a roller support. In this support, there will be only one reaction. Here, there is only vertical reaction. Now, let us find the reactions. First, let us find the horizontal reaction HA. For that, let us apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0. In this truss, there is no horizontal load. So, HA will be 0. Now, let us find the vertical reactions VA and VE. This truss is symmetrical with respect to the dimensions and loads. So, we can easily find the vertical reactions. For that, we have to add these three loads. When we add these three, we will get 60. When we divide 60 by 2, we will get the vertical reactions VA and VE as 30 kN. Now, we are going to find the member forces. We know that this truss is symmetrical, so no need to find all of the member forces. We can find the member forces only in the left half, because on the left and right half, we will have the same values. For example, the member force in AB and ED will be same. The member force in AJ and EF will be same. Now, we are going to find the member forces. First, we have to select the joint J because in this joint only, there are only two members. Let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. In the joint J, there is only one vertical member FAG. Since there is no other vertical and inclined forces, FAG will be 0. Now, let us apply the rule sigma H is equal to 0. In the joint J, there is only one horizontal member. Since there is no any other horizontal and inclined forces, Fij will be 0. Now, we have to take the joint A. Because in this joint only, there are two unknown forces. If we take the joint I or B, there will be more than two unknown forces. So, let us take the joint A. In the joint A, we have the forces in AB, AJ, AI. Also, there is a vertical reaction, 30. We have already found the member force in AJ, which is 0. So, no need to consider AJ. Now, let us find this angle, theta. For that, we can use the tan theta formula. We know that tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. Here in the opposite side, we have 2 meter. In the adjacent side also, we have 2 meter. Finally, for theta, we will get 45. If this angle is 45, this angle will be 90 minus 45. So, here also it will be 45. In the joint A, first we have to apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. Because when we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown. FAI is inclined, we have to make it vertical. To make it vertical, we need 45 degree. So, we have to multiply FAI with the cos 45. When we make it vertical, it will be acting upwards. So, it should be applied as positive. The reaction that is acting upwards. So, it is also positive. Finally, for FAI, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, let us apply the rule sigma h is equal to 0. We have to make FAI horizontal. To make it horizontal, we need 45 degree. So, we have to multiply FAI with the cos 45. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the right side. So, it should be applied as positive. FAB is acting towards the right side, so it is also positive. Just before we have got the value of FAI, which is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply as negative. 
Finally, for FAB, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now, let us take the joint I. In this joint only, there are two unknowns. In the joint I, we have the member forces IJ, IA, IB and IH. No need to consider IJ. We know that the member force IJ is 0. If this angle is 45 degree, this angle is 90 minus 45. So, we will get 45 and this angle also will be 45 degree. In the joint I, first let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. We have to make FAI vertical. To make it vertical, we need 45 degree. So, we have to multiply FAI with the cos 45. When we make it vertical, it will be acting downwards. So, it should be applied as negative. FBA is acting downwards. So, it is also negative. We know the value of FAI. 42.42 and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply FAI as negative. Here already there is a negative sign. So, negative into negative, it will be positive. Finally, for FBI, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now, let us apply the rule. Sigma H is equal to 0. We have to make FAI horizontal. To make it horizontal, we need 45 degree. So, we have to multiply FAI with the cos 45. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the left side. So, it should be applied as negative. FHI is acting towards the right side. So, it is positive. We know the value of FAI. 42.42 and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply that as negative. Here, already we have a negative sign. So, negative into negative, it will become positive. Finally, for FHI, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, let us take the joint B. In the joint B, we have the forces in BA, BC, BI, BH. Also, there is a load, 20 kN. We know that this angle is 45 degree. Also, this angle is 45 degree. In the joint B, first we have to apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. Because when we apply this rule, there will be only one unknown. We have to make FBH vertical. To make it vertical, we need 45 degree. So, we have to multiply FBH with cos 45. When we make it vertical, it will be acting upwards. So, it should be applied as positive. FBA is acting upwards. So, it is positive. 20 is acting downwards. So, it is negative. We know the value of FBA 30. Let us apply that. Finally, for FBH, we will get a negative value. That means it is compressive. Now, let us apply the rule. Sigma H is equal to 0. FAB is acting towards the left side, so it is negative. We have to make FBH horizontal. To make it horizontal, we need 45 degree. So, we have to multiply FBH with cos 45. When we make it horizontal, it will be acting towards the right side. So, it should be applied as positive. FBC is acting towards the right side, so it is also positive. We know the value of FAB, 30. Let us apply that. Just before we have got the value of FBH, since it is compressive, we have to apply that as negative. Finally, for FBC, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. Now, let us take the joint C. In the joint C, we have the forces in CB, CD and in CH. Also, there is a vertical load, 20 kN. In the joint C, only we have to find the member force FCH. We can apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0 and find FCH. FCH is acting upwards, so it will be positive. The load 20 is acting downwards, so it is negative. For FCH, we will get a positive value. That means it is tensile. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the member forces. Let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members. 
then forces and then the nature of the forces here i have drawn the member forces in the truss since the frame is symmetrical the member forces will be same in the left and right side now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video